Good morning, dear children. Welcome to our computer class. In the last video, we have learned about two basic parts of computer, which are the hardwares and softwares. Hardwares are three types. Among that, two types we have discussed: input devices and output devices. Today we are going to learn about the third type of hardware that is storage devices. Yes, storage devices. It is very familiar for you. Storage devices means what? The devices which we use to store the data. Tell me the name of storage devices that you know. You have already learned in second standard, isn't it? Yes, pen drive. I know it is very familiar device for you. For what we use this pen drive? What is the purpose of this pen drive? We use pen drive to store the informations. What all informations? It may be the songs, videos, movies, like that. Any type of files we can store in pen drive. Like this, which is the another device used for storing data? Yes. Next one is CD or DVD. This also you have learned in second standard, isn't it? Yeah. What is CD? Compact disc. Then what is DVD? Digital versatile disc. Both are look like same. Then what is the difference between CD and DVD? CD has less memory capacity than DVD. Look at this picture of CD and can you tell me the memory capacity of that CD? It is written on it. Can you say? Yeah, 700 MB. That is the capacity of that CD. Like this, CDs are available in market with different memory capacity. And look at the picture of DVD. What is the memory capacity written there? That is 8.5 GB. Yeah, it is greater than 700 MB. DVD, this DVD can store more information than CD. Now, did you understand the difference between CD and DVD? CD is less memory capacity than DVD. Which is the next storage device? Yes, hard disk. Have you seen it? Where will it be? It will be inside the CPU. The main memory of the computer. All the informations we are keeping in the computer are storing in this hard disk. Then, tell me the next one. Yes, this is also very familiar for you. Memory card. Same as pen drive, it is also small in size. Small in size, but its memory capacity is high. Memory cards are available in market with a different memory capacity. Till now, we have discussed about three groups of hardwares that are input devices, output devices and storage devices. Now, we are going to discuss about softwares. Software is a set of programs which controls the internal operations of a computer and instructs a computer what to do. There are two types of softwares. They are system software and application softwares. What do you mean by system software? The software which controls the overall working of the computer is called system software. Can you say one example for system software? Which software will control the entire working of the computer? Example is operating system. Do you know the name of any operating system? In every computer, there will have a operating system which control the entire working of the computer. Have you heard DOS, Windows, Linux, like that? These are the names of some operating systems. Next type of software is application software. These softwares are designed to perform a specific type of job. When I say the example, you can understand. It is very familiar softwares. Example, MS Paint, WordPad, Calculator, like that. You are very familiar with these all softwares, isn't it? Yeah, these all softwares have its own purpose. That means this MS Paint is designed for, for what we are using MS Paint? 
Is it for typing? No, it is for drawing. That is the purpose of MS Paint software. That application softwares are softwares designed to perform a specific type of job. Dear children, now we have discussed about two basic parts of computer, hardwares and softwares. Hardwares are in three groups. They are input devices, output devices and storage devices. Softwares are in two types. They are system softwares and application softwares. Watch this video again and again and learn the topic hardware and software. Thank you.